All right, we're here at box run day number 76. Uh, number 75 was a good one. Um, we ended up here at the end of the day, which we're about six kilometers from uh, the hot springs, um, which was so nice. We actually went there uh, uh, last night. Wait, what's the name of the city? It was uh, Harrison. Oh, Harrison. Harrison, Harrison Hot Springs. And uh, it was great we went in there. So a little rejuvenated today. <sighs> Shouldn't have stolen this car. <laughs> Couldn't even bounce up and down it. But uh, it was good, so I want to thank everyone at the uh, the, the Harrison uh, Resort there that uh, let us in. Appreciate it. Um, yeah, it was a great day. with Lots uh, along the Fraser River, which, which is kind of overflowing right now. And uh, it was raining earlier. It looks like the weather's not uh, going to be too great today, but we'll, uh, we'll find out. You never know uh, once we get in the mountains, eh, how it clears up and stuff. But uh, fairly flat. We just found out we might have a little bit of a hill coming up in about four kilometers. But... Uh, we are currently 120 kilometers east of Vancouver, so we will be in Vancouver come Thursday night over to uh, to Horseshoe Bay and continue on to, to Victoria. Um, our sponsor of the day today goes to uh, to Doug Shelton. Um, he's a fellow real estate agent. He actually uh, emailed me probably about a week ago and uh, used his miles to take care of my flight home on July 10th, which is awesome. So we want to thank you, Doug. Uh, Hopefully, uh, by me giving you a few shout-outs for your real estate, maybe pick up a couple listings, give me a couple listings, you know what I mean, <laughs> fellow real estate agent. But uh, I appreciate it, Doug. Uh, um, people probably thought I was going to run home. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing the forest gump and saying, yeah, I think I'm going to go home now, and I'm not driving in the RV home either. So I'm flying on the 10th and get ready for the big homecoming uh, party on the 13th at uh, Optimus Park. Our, spot, our uh, dedication goes to... My neighbor across the street, where I'm currently living on Russo Place uh, in Niagara Falls, Bobby and Fran Lococo. Um, they both, uh, well, Bobby had leukemia back, uh, how many years ago was that? Six years ago. Six years ago. And uh, he's doing really well. He's uh, cancer free cancer right now. Free goes one, through, goes uh, through uh, tests and stuff. One, and once a year. Once a year, so he's doing great. So, and Bobby, out, he helps uh, me constantly uh, across the street with my pool or anything uh, that I need help with. I just go to him. He's like the mayor of uh, Russo yeah. Place. <laughs> and then his, his wife, uh, Fran, who uh, um, got diagnosed with breast cancer a couple years ago. And uh, she's doing great, though. She's uh, cancer-free right now with all the testing. And another thing about early detection with breast cancer and, and prostate cancer. So um, get checked out when you can. Um, the last three nights, we've been uh, staying at a good buddy of mine who I haven't seen in years, Bruce Carrington. And uh, Bruce is with us today. He let us stay at his... Uh, Cabin there in Sunshine Valley. Bruce, thank you very much, man. Yeah, awesome. It's so nice you to see you, man. We go way back. He was on the box team. Like, man, we went to what was it, the World Championships yeah, in, yeah. Russia, in Russia. Russia in 89. That's crazy, man. Yeah. Crazy. And we yeah. actually went, remember we, we went hiking in Lake Louise and stuff for that, too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was, oh, it was just it was great. We got caught in a blizzard in August and stuff like that. Yeah. It was Always insane. So, uh, really well. and, and he's still obviously uh, active and, uh, um, yeah, it did awesome. We, we we had some great times together, and I miss those years. You still look the same, buddy. Yeah. You still look the same. Same weight, probably, too. Pretty eh? close. Pretty close, <laughs> Pretty eh? close, yeah. Oh, he fought 165, and he, he still looks... Uh, I, I look like I'm heavier than him right now. <laughs> and I've lost 20 I pounds. Trained, and man. I've lost 20 pounds. I trained just to meet you. Yeah, there yeah. you go. So he, he actually just did a run in, in Whistler, the Tough Mudder. Yeah, that was... And it was, was, uh, it was a 20-kilometer... Uh, yeah, it was... Under walls. under wires where they actually electrocute you too, <laughs> yeah, crazy. Okay. So he's got some bruises and stuff, and <laughs> so he actually had to go through the uh, uh, through the water. The, it was frozen, so they chopped it up like a slushy, and he actually had to go through the water and then down the slide and just say, uh, "Yeah, it's pretty uh, pretty intense, man." It was intense. It was fun. Yeah. yeah so how you how you feeling today? It was a few days ago. Actually, good. Yeah, yeah. feeling good. I'll get to see you, so I'm excited. Yeah, that's awesome, man. And, and you know what? You, and you're giving back to boxing. I understand you're you're a um, level five referee now, so you're. Inter internationally, you're, you yep. go quite a bit and uh, representing obviously Canada and, and uh, go go with the team once in a while. So, how, how, how do you like that from the boxing to officiating? It was a, it was a tough transition, but uh, yeah, it uh, it's fun now. There's politics in both. I know. Well, I don't have to make weight now, so that's the best part. Oh, that's it, eh? <laughs> wow. I can have that pre beer. Yeah, there you go, eh? <laughs> but uh, Bruce, I want to thank you. I know, you know, you're, you're part of the cause and you helped us and, and, and letting us stay at your place uh, three nights in a row and um, cancer. <laughs> holds close to your heart, obviously, because it was your grandfather? Yeah, my grandfather, yeah. So maybe uh, 
you de dedicate your run today to your grandfather? To my grandfather, Ed. All it's right. Funny, buddy. Awesome, awesome, Bruce. So we're going to see you probably at the end of this AK, or you, you never know, you might run 40. I'll see how I feel. I'll be in there. <laughs> All right. Okay, okay, we'll see you at the end of uh, box run, day number 76. All right, we're uh, here just uh, almost in the middle of uh, box run, day number 76. Special guest, Bruce Carrington. Um, Bruce, we've known each other for so many years on the national team, back going back 1989, World Championships in Moscow, unbelievable. But uh, Bruce found out we were coming through here. He uh, accommodated us for three nights in his uh, cabin back in the in Hope and Sunshine Valley. And we thank you so much, appreciate it. And he came out here and ran uh, 16 kilometers with us, and uh, you know the, the first four were really flat, and then they had a oh, big kind of steep and hill, and it was kind of, yeah, it was, was nice to get, get the blood flowing and stuff, but it was good, and then I uh, ran over, uh, you know, so total 60K, thank you so much, oh, I know if you had time, you'd run the full 40. Absolutely, yeah. it wasn't for the other 20 I did the other day. I yeah, yeah, I did the, this tough mudder, it was called, through the mud and uh, getting electrocuted and all that sort of stuff in Whistler, so, um, but again, I'd like to thank you so much uh, for your hospitality and, and helping the, the cause, and uh, really appreciate it, and Special dedication to your grandfather today, yeah, which is awesome. Thanks very right? much, so, man. It's awesome, awesome to see you again, my Awesome, man. Awesome, man. Hopefully, we're going to get in touch here uh, just, uh, you know, about 50 kilometers down the road. Yeah, right? we'll hook up later. Yeah, awesome, awesome. So, uh, we shall see you at the end of uh, this day, and then we're going to take a little break and head out for uh, going for 24 kilometers. So, uh, we'll see you at the end of this day anyways, and thank you again. Yeah, you're sure.